when we discuss about laplace transform of a signal it is necessary that you have to mention the region of convergence for this particular laplace transform region of convergence is nothing but the region in the s plane for which we can get a finite value for the laplace integral so when we integrate in the laplace transform if we get infinite values for some of the s values then these regions are known as non convergence regions the roc or region of convergence is very important in the case of bilateral laplace transforms so let us go into the video and see what is mean by region of convergence and what is the importance of region of convergence in laplace transforms in the case of laplace transform the region of convergence also known as roc is very important right we need to specify the region of convergence along with the laplace transform in the case of bilateral laplace transform so what is meant by region of convergence the region of convergence or roc is also called the region of existence for the laplace transform x of s so assume that we have a laplace transform x of s the region of convergence is a set of values of s or the region in the complex plane for which the integral converges so so this is our complex plane so this is a sigma axis and this is a j omega axis and for what all values of s so whatever value if i take i can take many values of s from this plane right so the region of convergence says that for what values of s the laplace transform integral converges and that region for example all the values to the right side of this line are creating the converging integrals then this is the region of convergence for the laplace transform that is what we are going to discuss in this video we can understand this concept of region of convergence in a better way using an example so let us consider a signal x of t is equal to e power minus at into u of t so this is our x of t signal so i can plot it like this right so this is the x axis and this is the y axis so let us assume this is the t axis and uh, we can plot it like this so it has a value 1 here and it will be exponentially decaying like this since it is multiplied with the u of t u of t we know that it is a step signal it is a step signal unit step signal and unit step signal values are zero when time t is less than zero that is u of t does not exist for this region that is time is negative since we are multiplying the signal e power minus at with the u of t signal will exist only in the positive x axis so this is our question that is e power minus at u of t so this is our x of t and we are going to find out the laplace transform of this signal e power minus at u of t so this can be done very quickly so i am just going to do the laplace transform of this signal watch it carefully so this is the fundamental laplace transform equation integral minus infinity to plus infinity x of t into e power minus st dt so instead of s i am representing is sigma plus j omega in this equation so this can also be written like this now we are going to substitute our x of t that is e power minus at ut into this equation so we will get like this since we are multiplying e power minus at with u of t that is unit step signal which does not exist in the uh, negative axis of the time in the integration need to be performed only from 0 to infinity no need to perform the integration from minus infinity to 0 because of the presence of u of t so we can write the equation like this when we perform the integration operation on this integral we will get like this minus of 1 by s plus a into e power minus s plus a into t within the range 0 to infinity 
So we know that e power minus infinity is 0 and e power 0 is 1. So we can substitute it like this minus 1 by s plus a into e power minus infinity is 0 and minus e power 0 is 1 right 0 minus 1. So this minus and minus will get cancelled and it will become positive and you will get 1 by s plus a 1 by s plus a. Now what is the importance of this? If you carefully observe we can see that this particular equation this particular equation can be also expressed in another format which I am going to copy and paste here right. So I will clean up this a little bit so I will remove the unwanted things okay. So I can express this particular equation in another form that is integral 0 to infinity e power minus sigma plus a so I am, I am taking the real terms together e power minus sigma plus a into e power minus j omega t dt. So this does not change the values of the integral. I am just rearranging the real terms and uh, imaginary terms together. And if you carefully observe this magnitude of this complex exponential e power j omega t is always 1 irrespective of the value of j omega t power time. If you consider this power that is e power minus sigma plus a into t this has some effect on this integration. For example if sigma plus a together sigma plus a is positive then there is no problem if you substitute this positive sigma plus a into this bracket because of this negative the overall exponential will be decaying overall exponential will be decaying exponential but if in case sigma plus a is less than 0 that is sigma plus a is negative then what happen when you substitute that negative sigma plus a that is negative sigma plus a into this equation already there is a negative present outside the bracket and if you are substituting minus sigma plus a into this bracket what happens these two negatives will get cancelled and this e power sigma plus a t will become a growing exponential. So this is this will become a growing real exponential. So this is a problem. So we cannot integrate if it is a growing exponential. So we can conclude that only in the case of sigma plus a is greater than 0 the integral exists. Integral exists. If in case sigma plus a is less than 0 then this value the power of e power minus sigma plus a t will become positive and it will be a growing exponent. So we cannot find out the value of integration or it will become an infinite value. So we can say that this integration or this Laplace transform is possible only for sigma plus a greater than 0. This can be also written like this sigma is greater than minus a sigma is greater than minus. so I am just taking the a to the right side of the inequality symbol. So we can also say that sigma is greater than minus a is another condition for the existence right condition for the existence of the Laplace transform right. So since s is equal to sigma plus j omega and sigma is equal to the real part of s we can express like this that is sigma is greater than minus a can also be represented as real part of s is greater than minus a that is the condition which is required for the existence of the Laplace transform. So in general we can express the Laplace transform like this that is e power minus a t u of t will give you the Laplace transform like this 1 by s plus a with the region of convergence r e that is real part of s should be greater than minus a and in this is the Laplace transform of e power minus a t u t and this portion is known as the algebraic algebraic expression 
of the Laplace transform and this portion that is there is a condition along with this algebra expression that is real part of s should be greater than minus a and this is known as the roc or region of convergence region of conversion region of convergence so this region of convergence says that this laplace transform exists only for this real part of s greater than minus a or sigma greater than minus so this is the idea of region of convergence so we can express it in the complex plane like this so let me draw the complex plane so this is the complex plane here this is a sigma axis and this is the j omega axis and we need to find out a minus a so this is minus a so what is the condition says it exists only for sigma greater than minus a right sigma greater than minus or, or real part of s real part of s is nothing but sigma sigma greater than minus s so sigma greater than minus a means that includes all the portions to the right side of this minus a all the portions to the right side of this minus a right so sigma greater than minus a means all the portions to the right side of this sigma minus a line sigma is equal to minus a line so this is the region of convergence of this laplace transform so the laplace transform does not exist for this region so this is the idea of la region of convergence so there is an importance for this region of convergence so why this region of convergence is important so we can find out the laplace transform of another signal that is given us x of t is equal to minus e power minus a t u of minus t so this is another signal so I am going to find out the Laplace transform of this signal so I can plot the signal like this so this is the x y axis and this is the x axis so it's the time axis right and it will be like this so this signal will be like this like this right so this will be minus 1 and this is our e power minus e power minus a t u of minus t so you have to note that since there is u of minus t so this is a reflected unit step signal this is a reflected unit step signal or this unit step signal exists only in time t is less than 0 so since we are multiplying with multiplying our sig signal minus e power minus a t using this u of minus t the signal exists only up to this and then it will become zero so this is our input signal x of t so similar to the previous case i am going to find out the laplace transform of the signal so let me find out the laplace transform of the signal you carefully observe it So this is a general expression of the Laplace transform that is minus infinity to integral minus infinity to plus infinity x of t into e power minus st dt. Here I have expressed the s term as sigma plus j omega t. Now I can substitute the value of x of t. x of t is nothing but minus e power minus a t u of minus t. So I am going to substitute our x of t into this equation. So we will get like this. Now because of the presence of u power minus t, it is not required to compute the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity. So the integral will exist only from minus infinity to 0. We know that u power minus t is the reflected unit step signal. So it will exist only from minus infinity to 0. So the integral limit will change like this. Now if you try to compute the integral, we will get like this. 
we have a minus here and the integration of e power minus s plus a t dt will result in minus 1 by s plus a into e power minus s plus a within the range minus infinity to 0. So you have to note the range it is from minus infinity to 0. So you can get so this minus and minus will get cancelled so you will get 1 by s plus a into e power 0 is 1 and e power minus infinity is 0 so 1 minus 0 which is equal to 1 by s plus a so here also the result is 1 by s plus a what about the region of convergence what is the region of convergence so for that you have to analyze this particular equation so for that I have to copy the equation so I am copying the equation from here so this is the equation which we need to consider here you can see that the integration is from the range minus infinity to 0 and the integration is with respect to dt so integration is with respect to time t so the integration is happening in the time interval integration is happening in the time interval minus infinity to 0 right because of that all the value we are going to substitute for t will be negative so already there is a negative sign here and all the values which we are going to substitute for t is also negative so these two will together will become positive now if you look inside you can see that a plus sigma is there or sigma plus a is there now if a plus sigma is positive or greater than zero because this minus and the negative time cancel each other we can see that this will become essentially positive and it will grow up it will grow exponentially it will grow exponentially so this term will grow exponentially so what is the problem we will we will be unable to find out the Laplace transform in this case however what about the case of a plus sigma less than zero when a plus sigma is less than zero we can see that we are substituting a negative quantity here right a plus sigma is a negative quantity we are substituting in the bracket already this minus and time will get cancelled so this will become a decaying exponential dk exponentially right dk exponentially so this will help in converging the integral and for this particular case the region of convergence is nothing but a plus sigma is less than zero this can be also written as sigma less than minus a sigma less than minus a so i am just taking a to the right side of the inequality symbol so i will get sigma less than minus a for this particular signal x of t is equal to e power minus e power minus a t u of minus t the Laplace transform exists only in this region of convergence that is sigma is less than negative a so this can be also written as real part of s less than minus a so if I plot that region of convergence in the s plane so this is the x axis and y axis the sigma axis this is the j omega axis and we need a minus a so let us take minus a somewhere here and I am drawing a line this is sigma is equal to a and all the the region where sigma is less than minus a that is the region of convergence in this case so the region for sigma less than minus a is this region so this is the region of convergence of this signal this is the region of convergence for this signal so what is the conclusion from this analysis you have to carefully observe that we have two signal the first signal x of t is e power minus a t u of t and its Laplace transform was 1 by s plus a with the region of convergence greater than minus a and in the second case we had x of t 
is equal to minus e power minus a t u of minus t for that signal also the Laplace transform the Laplace transform is 1 by s plus a the same 1 by s plus a we got for the previous signal we are getting here also but the region of convergence is different the region of convergence is different you can see that it is less than minus a so this is a problem with the Laplace transform so if you try to find out the inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s plus a it does not have a unique answer because there is no one to one mapping between this Laplace transform and inverse Laplace transform either it can be e power minus a t u t or it can be minus of e power minus a t u of minus t so these two answers are possible if you are considering only the algebraic equation so this is the algebraic equation algebraic equation of the Laplace transform but we can specify the Laplace transform only if we consider the region of convergence also this is what which makes the Laplace transform little bit complicated compared to the Fourier transform so we need to note that in general the range of values of s for which the integral converge is referred as the region of convergence or ROC in the case of Laplace transform right because of this reason for any x of s there may be more than one inverse transform see if you are considering only 1 by s plus a there can be more than one inverse Laplace transform if you are not specifying the ROC right so based on the ROC there can be more than one inverse Laplace transform so it is must to represent the region of convergence also in the case of the Laplace transform this is happening because we are trying to handle both causal and non-causal signals so what is my causal signal signal which exists only for t greater than 0 and what is non-causal signal signal which exists for both time t greater than 0 less than 0 and a time t is equal to 0 right so if we are restricting our signal to only causal type so if you are if you are saying that our signal only exists in the positive time axis and it does not exist in the negative time axis then we can remove the confusion here so for example for e power minus a t u of t so this is a causal signal its Laplace transform is 1 by s plus a no need to specify the region of convergence so if you are restricting our signal as causal and finding out the Laplace transform then that Laplace transform is known as the unilateral unilateral Laplace transform so for unilateral Laplace transform we are restricting our input signal only as causal signal so because of that there is no need to specify the region of convergence or ROC so in summary we can say that all signals are restricted to causal then for a given X of S there is only one inverse transform X of T and there is no confusion or there is no multiple mapping right but if you are considering the bilateral Laplace transform that is our signal can be non-causal also then it is required to specify the region of convergence to find out the inverse Laplace transform so more about unilateral Laplace transform we will discuss in the next video